All right, so we just got her home here uh, not too long ago from a local auction. There's a lot to learn on this thing. A bunch of brakes and pulleys and winches and just a bunch of weird stuff. You got three different levers down here. Uh, get that little rusty thing down there. You get that, I guess, is supposed to be a clutch. Um, you got that there, that's supposed to be a brake. Figure there, clutch brake right there, or the loading brake. Then you get the winch cable there, then you got, where is it? The clutch there, so, yeah. It's gonna be fun learning. Uh, it don't show nothing in the operator's book about the scale or um, Yeah, about the scale which is primarily what we bought the thing for um, Had a heck of a time getting the PDO shaft sepi separated had to take the pickup and a chain and hook to that end and out she slid from that part and that's gonna get oil before it goes back in, maybe worked half a dozen times. Oh, tires are gonna get air. Um, just and just look stuff over um, and suck the water out of stuff uh, because because that's what you do when you when you bring stuff home and it's got water in it. Mm, something. Must have drained already. Uh, there's maybe a relief down in there, but this all here, like I said, is all it's all full of water. Um, yeah, so oh, that, it's the scale right there. You gotta have a tractor hooked to it um, to run the thing, but uh, for electric for power. Uh, so one of these tires I was told went flat, goofed away scale up and it don't start weighing until like 1100 pound or so, but we'll just have to, oh, okay. So somebody did take and a number of these things or else maybe they did come pre-labeled. Okay. So, yeah, hydraulic drive, so <gasps> don't have to screw around with shaft no more. That's third, that's half. Okay, so, yeah. So I guess the guy that owned this, he never used the extension. He just used uh, this main piece here to unload with. And that's the whole entire reason why we bought this thing was uh, for the extension piece because our the other one just won't reach the bin. Um, so I think I'm going to like this grinder a whole heck of a lot better. Uh, yeah, even though um, this one has uh, the double auger on the side, the auger extension. Um, it's got a winch to lower and raise this, which, you know, just by this, this crank here is what you do. Um, so there's no, and there's a brake on that. That's going to get oil. That's going to get oil because, um, well, it just is. But there you guys seen, it goes up, it goes down, just like it should. It swings in, it swings out. Uh, this here, I got a feeling it might be just like the other grinder where you throw it forward to start, pull the disengage and that what moves this guy here uh, 
Okay, so this must be how you adjust your hydraulic flow, maybe, by this lever, or was it back here? Somewhere, because I'm not... Well, there's the motor right there. I'm not sure. I'm just... I'm not... I'm not sure. I know this is going to have to get fixed. That is going to have to get fixed, because we cannot let that like that. It'll just... It'll let grain come out and make a mess. Don't know, we might have to make something here that comes down even more and to funnel into here. This gate, you adjust, ooh. Yep. And these things haven't been adjusted in years. Holy jeez, a wee. Man. There's a magnet down in here, but man. I have to work and get them, get them, getting them freed up. There. Okay, so that one moves. Mm. But that one don't. Man. But that'll be uh, next week's problem. But I think that crank, it's gonna be a lot easier, or the winch, I mean, it's gonna be a lot easier to lift and lower this thing. Um, have to put some oil on that because, you know, up, it goes up just fine. But for some reason, it must have a built-in brake system in it to enable the thing so it, it don't drop, so it don't slam. Um, that's probably what the thing is is so is so the thing don't slam on the ground is why it goes so darn hard or the fact that or the fact that this needs oil I'm not sure but it's going to get oil everything's going to get oiled everything's going to get greased I already seen right off the bat that there's grease fittings here and down here because somebody greased that already okay it's going to get grease because this is what this whole thing spins on is grease and there's what it hinges on for the up and down and it's all hydraulic driven the only shaft that there is on this thing is that uh like i said we pulled it apart i had to use the pickup to pull it apart um there's the hydraulic filter for this apparatus uh no more tarp strap around this thing like on the other grinder uh let's see we're gonna have to get somebody to make some glass but that's okay uh we'll get that figured out okay i guess we can go ahead and open this here okay Said this thing is supposed to come with five screens. Guess we'll just go ahead and let that back in. We'll close that thing back up. Throw this forward. And let that lock like that. And yes, there are five screens. Uh, yep, there are so many different screens that. Uh, there just is a lot of screens uh, for different grinding uh, applications and stuff like that. Um, not sure what the heck we're going to utilize them all for, but uh, we'll uh, most certainly use them. This stuff here is for the scale. Um, 
Yeah, it looks like just we got to make an end up for the tractor. Whether it be 3010, 4020, uh, Heston, or the 720, it's going to, they're going to, all three of them, all four of them get the same plug, okay? Um, because I want to use that 720 to grind with. I want to use it to grind with. Um, I know Dad will, you know, say no, but I want to. I want to, okay? And I'm going to, so... Yeah, so we need to get some plugs made up. That is first and foremost. We need to get some plugs made up. Other than that, just give it a good uh, going over and uh, oil stuff, see how stuff works, and uh, we'll go from there. I think we're, we're really going to like this big auger. Just really going like to uh, like the extension. Uh, because we're going to have problems with that other grind well actually we know we already have problems with that other grinder that is why we've been blessed with this grinder um because we already have problems we already have problems that other that older that farmhand it can only reach to the window up there it cannot reach the big bin it cannot reach the big bin. Um, that is where why we bought the New Holland uh, 355. Well, so it can reach to that bin, and we still might be having problems. I see because of the hand handrail and stuff. But uh, I think if we uh, just back it in. Fold the auger around behind the grinder, kind of, and back in. We should be able to. We should be able to hit that up there. We should. But I got my doubts. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm allowed to have my doubts, aren't I?